friends! Welcome back to Skytrack Cooks! We're going to be cooking chicken fillet, chicken fillet with the sauce of sour cream sauce. So this is technically the picture how it's going to be the end result in the pan. So. This is going to be our main ingredient. Obviously, this is going to be the main sauce, the powder inside. What do we need, as it's stated here? Uh, obviously, I'm going to make something with it, not just chicken and this. I like myself either fries or something like extra, which would be the rice. I will boil rice. This will be a chicken sauce, a sour cream chicken sauce, uh, with chicken, obviously, with rice. Now ingredients that we need for this, obviously fillet of chicken, you can see here, this is a part of chicken and what? Well, this is we're going to chop it to small pieces, very small pieces, everything, this is four or five hundred grams by the way, five hundred grams. It states here that we need approximately, it doesn't say anything, just the sauce, but I know when I cooked this before. You need sour cream, approximately 18 to 20 percent, this is not, this is in Polish, but it says sour cream, you know what it is, it's like this. 18 to 20 percent uh, as usual you also need garlic powder this is garlic as you can see this is a garlic powder salt and of course pepper this is all the ingredients that we're going to be using don't mind the water this is all we're going to only use it's going to be easy you buy chicken in your any shop just in any fillet it can be it has to be just a chicken fillet it could be any part of the chicken it doesn't really matter which chicken you buy it just has to be a fillet so let's start off with the chicken of course we're gonna wash this right now in here. Open this, wash, and then cut. Very easy, very fast, no problems, no problems. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, this chicken is with herbs. Herbals, like garlic and different herbs. I don't know if the focus will show. You can see it's with herbs. Here, literally, it says it herbs and garlic. So it's gonna be this flavor, it's a sour cream sauce. So, as you can see, I already washed the chicken. I will cut it in small pieces, and I'm gonna put it in a separate plate. I'm gonna put it in a separate plate. I have my cutting board, cut it very, like, maybe just thin lines, just lines. That's how it's mostly prepared. Cubes, it can be anywhere. Just chop it down to small pieces, approximately this size. I'm gonna put the rice right now. Uh, if some of you have a rice cooker like me, obviously, uh, for two people, I put three cups of rice. Uh, how much does that really stand for? Three to four. Yeah, there we go. Three to four. Or... In milliliters, I obviously like more milliliters, uh, this type of measurement, it says 160. So I, I filled three with those three times, which would be equal for two people. And again, you have to put the same amount of water, the same cup to rice ratio, water to rice ratio. It's a short rice. Anyways, uh, I'll just use two cups, I just noticed how big it is. Uh, 162 times, so it's 320 grams, and it should be... Three to four cups two times. Don't know how to say it, but three to four cups two times. I'm gonna wash this rice and I'm gonna put it in the cooker and I'm gonna cut the chicken in the meantime. Nice. And let's cut it out and I'll just like snap. So after about 35 minutes of cutting this chicken, finally chopped up to small pieces. Took me over a long time. Time for our spices or just general spider. Ingredients make it a bit better. First goes salt, then pepper, then garlic. Uh, you will understand how I do it. So salt, generous amount of salt because there is 500 grams obviously. Pepper and garlic powder. Ah, the rice cooker. The rice just cooked. Now it needs 10 minutes to stay there. And nice, good news. Now generous amount of garlic powder. There we go, nice, perfect. Now what you want to do is obviously don't just stand it like that, you have to mix it all together. Smells perfect, smells very good, I gotta tell you. The smell is on the entire kitchen already, very good, very good. As you can see we just added salt, pepper and garlic powder to it, mix it all together and the colors look nice and the smell looks marvelous. So. We're gonna put that in the pan and fry it up, but before we put this in the pan, let's make the sauce. Now, how do we make the sauce? Obviously, you have to have some kind of a bowl that can hold all flavors together. Let's move on to the sauce. 
what do we need? We need 200 milliliters of water. We need sour cream and this. You put all of it there. It should be 200 milliliters, 200 grams of this, as you can see. So, good for you, it already says an ounce. You're welcome. There we go. 7.1 ounce. There you go. Easy for you. Then the same amount of water here. The same amount of water, so yeah. I know this is not the best camera view, but this is all I have now for this. Opening the sour cream, obviously. And just letting it all to go there. Well, that was an unexpected situation. So again, we add sour cream. Now we have some kind of a spoon to mix it, such as like this. There we go. The more we add, the better. Just all of it in there, in one big bowl. Sour cream that's still stuck. Use water, which saves a lot of time for you to just add water in there. Not fully, just a little bit. Use your hand. I know it's kind of weird to use finger in something, but again, it helps you to remove all the remaining sour cream that you need. Again, this is a very useful tip I learned, and I'm very thankful that I did learn, because this saves you some ingredients, and obviously you get more flavor, and you do not waste food. Never waste food. I hate wasting food. There you go. Now, look at the result. It's literally clean like it's never was before. Again, what do we add next? We add the same amount of water, just a bit extra. Not much, not low. That's the perfect amount. And after, you just wait. And you add the main ingredient, which is the main sauce. The main thing that will give us the flavor. There we go. That's the one, you see there? You just all, you just add it all there as such as you can see till the very last piece till the very last piece all together and you drain that stuff dude just let it all drain and mix it all together and this is this is where you have to spend the next maybe 10 minutes mixing until it all dissolves it has to be one big liquid subst substance substance so you just mix it all together mix and mix and mix until the flavors meet each other and you just do that for a very long time, and there you go. As you can see, the flavor slowly starts to disintegrate and become one, one big substance. Which is very good already, you can see. Just keep mixing until the, there is no chunky stuff. There, try to avoid so there will be any chunks like this, as you can see. Try to avoid these type of stuff. You just have to mix it since I just started. Let's keep mixing and mixing until it starts to be less chunky. And then you can see that it will be prepared. As you can see, the substance is now liquid, barely chunky, and it's been less than even 5 minutes. So, the longer you mix, obviously the better the flavor would be at the very end. And, well, clearly, not a bad result, not a bad result. This is how you make the sauce, very easy. You just mix water, sour cream, the entire sour cream, and the uh, main sauce. You, have, you can find this in anywhere. It should look something like this, it could be different flavors, it doesn't have to be just the greens, it could be cheese flavor, it could be, there is a lot of flavors, gravy flavor, a lot of just flavors that you can mix together. Uh, just the main substance of this, it's like a powder in here. The main powder will get, allow you to have the main ingredient. Because first we're gonna fry, we're gonna, no, no, we're not gonna fry, we're gonna try to cook on the pan the chicken fillet that we use and marinate it in salt, pepper and garlic powder in the pan. Or sometimes so it will be a white color it will be already kind of prepared you would see but not pinky because it you, you don't you try you will try to avoid so it will be pink color because this is the this indicates that the meat is still raw try to cook the chicken and then we will add the sauce and that's technically what we have to do and let it absorb this sauce inside the chicken's meat that's what's the our main objective is that's why the sauce exists 
and it could be an amazing topping for our rice. You will see it in the very end of the video. It's gonna be very delicious. It's gonna be very good. I mean, obviously, which what kind of oil do you prefer? Well, I use vegetable oil or sunflower oil. So technically, one of those would fit. Uh, if you're using olive oil, uh, I guess the flavor should not be too much different. It could be any oil, but at the end of the day, I use vegetable oil because it's well, mostly fitting. Now I'm gonna just add the, ch the chicken. Okay, so this is where you have to separate the meat as much as you can because it might stick to each other. Again, we marinated it, it's good taste. Just need to separate the meat. You fry the chicken until it's kind of all white and very prepared. You don't have to wait until it's raw and you just add the sauce. Wait until it's fully prepared and you can eat the chicken like this, but we'll add the sauce later. As you can see, it starts to give a big color. It doesn't mean it's cooked, it's just started to be some pieces of meat are still uh, pink. Again, it's still raw. Don't I know if some people are hungry and just like want to put their finger like this, hey, let me taste it. Oh, frick, it's raw. What should I do now? Well, just wait more, dude. Come on, have some patience. Determination, get the soul of patience, not determination. Focus on being patient. You see the juices, it starts to take it out. So that's the reason you don't add too much too, too much oil because the chicken will give a lot of juices already from. I'll try to do, here's a tip. You do like this and all the juices starts to flow down there. You'll try to take that with you with a towel and just put it somewhere on the safe place. As you can see, we removed a lot of juices. This is all that's left out of entire stock. If you're not sure how long to cook, make take one with fork and try it if it's raw. That means it needs to be cooked more. After further investigation, obviously by checking with the fork, it is time for the one and true, the sauce. You just pour it like this and that's easy. You just literally just pour it in, that's it. Obviously I need to scrape from here and I'm holding with one hand. This is where you want to, uh, put, the, to put the fire on the lowest. And just gently, gently, gently mix the substance, the sauce, with the chicken, not for too long, just so it will be covered everywhere. Now it will be very gently boiling and cooking together, all together. It's, now as you can see, it's still not as thick. It's super runny, super liquidy. It will be ready when the sauce will be almost, not fully evaporated, but will be very thick. And you need to wait some time before it's ready. Just mix the sauce a bit in there and there. And it should be fine. You bite the chicken, it's raw. Cut it into small pieces like this. Then, what you do is, you wash it, you cut it, you add the salt, you add the pepper. If you have garlic powder, yes, you can add that too, which is even better. Then, you fry it in the pan, you add the sauce, which is from which I showed you before. Water, sour cream, 200 milliliters, 200 grams, 7.1 ounce if I remember correctly, and the powder of the sauce itself, mix it all together, fry it. When the chicken is cooked, add the sauce in here. As you can see, it's a bit too much. I'm gonna lower the heat a bit. It doesn't supposed to be that crazy. The sauce will now try to absorb inside the chicken and meet together in flavors. And it'll be just boiling there all together. And sometimes check the sides because it might burn if you have an old pan like mine. You can just gently tight, make sure that the, it's not sticking to the pan on the very sides of it. And it starts slowly to be there. And you have basically generally the idea how it's gonna look like at the end. Sauce, chicken fillet with sauce, uh, with sour cream sauce and herbs. There we go. You leave it like this, obviously, for how long? Well, until the sauce is completely thick. Which in my case, it turned out to be kind of fast. Uh, since the meat, there is a lot of meat in there. So you can see the sauce literally thickening so fast. So, meat, which indicates to be very soon done. While the sauce is reaching its final form, Goku, I would say, <laughs> super uh, ultra instinct stuff, dude. I'm gonna put rice in the, in the plate to prepare for the meal. The moment of truth, 
Let's find out how this amazing tasty dish tastes like. We don't know. I'll give you my honest opinion. If it's bad, I'll obviously tell you. But first, okay, now let's try it out. On the spot, immediately. Boom. Now I'll tell you the truth, lads. It's just here. So just to prove that I actually eat that thing with the sauce. Bellissimo. Delicious. Like I say in my all the little videos. So again, lads, this recipe is easy to make. You need water. Obviously, who doesn't have water? Water, salt, pepper, garlic powder, sour cream, the powder for the sauce, main sauce, which flavor, what is the main hero of this dish, the sauce. You can mix with rice like this, all rice together, or you can use a substitute for rice, uh, which would be potatoes. I don't know, I don't have to explain how to boil rice, otherwise I don't know what's wrong with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a very interesting dish, another scratcher cooks. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the series. Check out my yesterday's video, uh, how I cook tartiflette. Very good video as well. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. I hope to see your comments and I hope to see what you think about this dish. Would you make this dish as well? Hey, why not try it out? And yeah, in general, lads, this was it. Thanks, another Skytree Cooks. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, share this video if you can. The friends about this channel, tell me if you will try this yourself. I'm very curious and I'm gonna read all the comments under this video. And I suggest checking yesterday's video as well. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>